January 19, 1809, marks the day that Edgar Allan Poe was born to actors Elizabeth and David Poe in Boston, Massachusetts. Tragedy struck early for the child, as both parents died before he could reach the tender age of four. Now an orphan, young Edgar was separated from his other siblings, stripped of his Boston hometown, and sent to Virginia under the guardianship of tobacco farmer John Allen, hence the addition of Allen to the author's name. Growing up in Virginia, the young boy was able to attend school and even fortunate enough to study abroad in England. Poe lost himself in stories and poems by legendary authors such as Lord Byron and Charles Dickens. A passion began to arise within Poe and he started to compose works of his own. That is, until guardian John Allen fell into financial troubles and refused to keep financing Poe's education. Desperate to stay in college and to remain writing, Poe turned to gambling as an immediate source of income. But however hard he endeavored, the young writer could not afford to keep himself enrolled in school and is rumored to have even set his own furniture on fire to stay warm during the cold winter nights. Ultimately, unable to continue his education, Poe turned to alcohol to console his grief and returned to the Allen home only to find his childhood sweetheart, Elamira, had become engaged to another man. Due to his heartbreak, and rising tension between his guardian and himself, Poe left Virginia to follow his literary aspirations and adventurous appetite. Anxious to find paying work, Poe joined the U.S. Army, eventually becoming a sergeant major. Around this time, Poe published his first collection, Tamerlane and Other Poems, proving that writing was still his true passion. Though creatively inspired, he was yet unable to financially support himself by literary work alone and eventually fell into poverty. Dejected and left nowhere to turn, Poe journeyed to Baltimore, the childhood home of his deceased father, where he was taken in by his relatives, Maria Clem and her daughter Virginia. While in Baltimore, Poe began editing for a famous literary magazine and started gaining acclaim as a critic and writer. He became known for his biting reviews and exquisitely written poems and short stories that emphasized structure and style. During this time of Poe's writing fervor, he married his cousin Virginia, many years his junior, and moved to New York in order to start a new life with his bride. Within a few years' time, Poe became known throughout the literary community of America for his infamous critiques, influential lectures, and macabre genre masterpieces. Central to his work was brevity, musicality, and psychological depth. He utilized literary tools such as allegory, alliteration, repetition, and rhyme, which elevated and distinguished his text from amongst his numerous writing contemporaries. Poe's work can be described as Gothic Romanticism, a title that combines the author's affinity for the supernatural subject matter with the term coined by authors of the 19th century, who emphasized writing from a place of feelings and emotion, as opposed to rationality and facts. Due to the quantity and quality of his work, Poe became quite a prolific writer in his own lifetime, attracting fans and even a few literary rivals. However, in 1847, just 10 years after they were wed, his young wife, Virginia, passed away from tuberculosis, leaving the writer in acute mental and emotional distress on the brink of a downward spiral. 
The next two years were prone to disaster for the despondent writer. Poe found himself hurtling towards the edge of poverty and self-destruction. He gambled. He drank. He had many well-known affairs with women. <laughs> Everything that he had created for himself fell apart. During this period of his life, many of the author's most haunting works were penned, perhaps giving his readers a window into the writer's own distress and sorrow. Reeling and navigating without a compass, Poe returned to the state of Virginia and the scene of his childhood once more, and just so happened to run into his ex-fiancée, Elamira, now a widow. The couple once again made plans to marry, but soon after a proposal was offered, Poe mysteriously vanished before the wedding, only to be found dead outside of a bar in Baltimore ten days later. And thus, the life of the great writer concluded suddenly at the age of 40. <laughs>